couldn't believe what I was hearing. First thing I thought about was my daughter. Welcome to Midlife Mama. I am Tiffany and on this channel I share videos and vlogs about my life after becoming a first time mom at 46. If you're new here consider subscribing, joining the YouTube family, coming along for the ride. If you're already a subscriber thank you so much for rocking with me and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be sharing something very sensitive with you guys today so Forgive me if I take long pauses or anything like that. Whew. So, on August 21st, I was diagnosed with uh, cervical cancer. And <laughs> that's tough to say. Okay. So I was diagnosed with cervical cancer and I am at the point now where I will begin to undergo treatment. But I want to share a little bit with you guys about what was going on with me leading up to the diagnosis and where we are right now and what is going to be happening going forward. So leading up to the diagnosis, I was having excessive bleeding. I was bleeding losing liters of blood and uh, I made uh, multiple trips to the hospital to emergency. I was admitted to the hospital twice. I think it was twice. It could have been three times for excessive bleeding. I got severely anemic. I was cold all the time, short of breath when I walked across the room and dizzy when I was standing up. It was, I was really severely anemic and I ended up having to get several blood transfusions and I ended up having to be in the hospital overnight a few times and <sighs> this is hard. It's harder than I thought it was going to be. So that is what prompted me to go to the hospital. Now the first time I went, first time this happened was in April and because of COVID we were in the, we were in the thick of it at that time because of COVID it was very difficult for me to get a, a appointment with my OBGYN. I did not, was not able to see my OBGYN until August and when I finally did, um, let me wait, let me backtrack. So I wasn't able to get an appointment to see my OBGYN but I did speak with the nurse practitioner from that office over the phone and she prescribed some some she ordered some labs and stuff like that and july uh may and july were may and june were normal my cycle was normal no heavy bleeding or anything like that but in july it started again so at this point i was back in the hospital in july and still was not able to get an appointment with my OBGYN. At this point, I've been told that I have fibroids and that I'm gonna need to follow up with them to get a course of treatment. So I was prescribed uh, Provera, I believe, in July to slow down or try and control the bleeding but then on the 21st I had on the 21st of August I had another episode while I was at work <laughs> I was I was sitting at work and I couldn't I couldn't work because I was bleeding so much so I ended up going in to see my gynecologist that day they were just were like they were like okay just come in now so I went in and had an exam and that is when they discovered that um, he said that he needed to get some, uh, call in some help from an oncologist because it looks like we're dealing with some type of cancer. And immediately I freaked out. I couldn't believe what I was hearing and I freaked out and I started crying and I wanted to, I just kept asking what about my baby? So immediately I kept, um, crying. For the first few minutes I was unconsolable and I just kept saying what about my baby, my baby, my baby and uh, 
my uh, this is the same gynecologist that actually delivered Nevaeh and he was very calm and he said that the survival rate was very high for cervical cancer so he told me what was going to happen next and because I started bleeding during the exam he had to sort of pack put a, a, pa a gauze packing in inside and wheelchair me over to the hospital I called my mom and let her know what was happening and I was in the hospital for a full day having tests. I had a MRI, um, I had several scans. My gynecologist came in after a while and he said he was going to leave the, pa the packing in overnight to try and slow down the bleeding. So he did that and then the next day he came in, he took out the gauze and there w wasn't bleeding as much. The oncologist came in that day and the thing about her is that you guys, if you watch this channel regularly, then you probably already know that yellow is my favorite color. And so when she walked in, she had on yellow Converse and a motorcycle jacket and I thought, okay, <laughs> she's kind of cool. But the first thing I noticed, she was very, very calm, very confident. She did a quick exam and she said that we haven't it hasn't uh, been confirmed yet that it's cancer but that's what it looks like it looks like it's gonna be cervical cancer so she said we're gonna transfuse you to get transfuse you to get your hemoglobin up to 10 because at this point it was hovering around the fives and sixes and she said we're gonna transfuse you to get you up to 10 and then we'll send you home I'll see you in two days in my office so that is what happened I got transfused they got me up to 11.4 and I went home, got, I saw her two days later. That, day, that is the day I actually got the official diagnosis that it was uh, can cervical cancer. And she told me what the treatment was going to be. Now, uh, that was in August. It's now taken uh, until now. I, don't, I start treatment on Monday. Today is October 4th. <laughs> Incidentally, I turned 50 yesterday. <laughs> So it's taken that long for me to get all the testing done that I need to get done. I had a procedure on September 2nd where I had an internal biopsy where they looked at my organs and my, my bladder and my colon. They looked at everything to see if uh, any of those organs were involved and the good news is they were not. It took me a few weeks to recover from that, from that procedure, but I also had to have a uh, full body scan and to determine where if the cancer had spread anywhere else so um, I had that scan um, I also had to have a port in, installed into my chest for for treatment and that has been done so that's what these scars are here and the port is right here is right up under the skin so my treatment uh, uh, for this is radiation mostly and a low dose of chemo so I will be starting chemo and radiation I will start be starting radiation tomorrow October 5th and I will be doing chemo on Tuesday radiation is going to be five days a week for five days for five weeks and chemo is going to be one once a week for five weeks and then we will see where we are from there. There is a second portion to radiation. There, I take a week off and then I have another round of radiation that is, the first round is external, the next round will be internal and uh, that is uh, for three weeks. And then we'll see where we are with that. So that is the update. I'm trying to keep it short. I don't want to get emotional. You guys are all caught up now with what has happened. While I was in the hospital, that when I first got that diagnosis, I spoke to someone who's very close to me and I, I, they gave me what I needed in that moment, which was uh, the word of God and reminded me whose I am and reminded me what's already been done for me. So here is where I am emotionally. I am absolutely confident that God is going to take care of this for me, that he's already done it. I'm absolutely, uh, I, have, I have complete faith that I'm going to be fine and I have a good team of doctors working with me to uh, solve this for me 
and I'm gonna come out of it better and stronger than my friend must be here better and stronger than I was before so you guys keep me in your prayers and keep me up uh, and keep me in your thoughts <laughs> and um, comment down below if you have any uh, well wishes you want to you want to send me here's Nevea really quickly say hi She's not in a good mood right now. So that that's it. I start treatment on, on Monday. I will be uh, vlogging those days uh, if I can. If I have help, I'll be vlogging those days and letting you guys in on what I'm going through while I'm going through treatment. And I'll be sharing it with you, sharing this journey with you guys. And we will be celebrating at the end when I get the all clear. So I'm going to end the vlog here i just wanted to update you guys and let you know what was happening what's been going on with me so the the prognosis from the doctors is very good they're very encouraged that the cancer has not spread anywhere and it's localized so we're gonna this is another part of my journey that i'm gonna have to go through and i'm trusting god to be with me through the whole thing and to manifest the healing that has already happened all right, so that's it for me and for this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. If you want to follow me through this journey, follow me on Instagram as well at Midlife Mama. And take care of yourself. Take care of each other. The only thing I want to say from here on out, the last thing I want to say is if you are neglecting your yearly exams, your, your checkups, make sure you go and get those done. Make sure you go and get yourself checked. And don't be afraid of what you might find out because uh, knowing is half the battle. All right, so you guys take care of yourself. Take care of each other. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye for now. Can you say bye? You don't want to say bye? All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next